So up until this point, we've mainly focusing on Coinbase 10, sending QNT out of Coinbase and into these other wallets. Kind of like this one, right? So if we look here, this is wallet 0x8509. Some of you guys might remember us tracking this wallet earlier on towards the start of this year. As we can see, it had some pretty large transactions in January and February of this year. And what do we notice here? Every single transaction comes from Coinbase 10. Each transaction is sending, well, well over 1,000 QNT, minus this one. But this is pretty close to 1,000 anyways. And so just off this, it's pretty interesting behavior, right? I mean, one QNT is at about 60 to $70 right now, give or take. And so if we do the math and just do 60 times 1,000, I mean, that's almost $60,000 Per transaction I mean to save 1,000 QNT on average is going into these transactions is being generous I mean look look at this one this one's almost at 3,000 this one's at two and a half thousand and so I'll let you do the math to conclude to how much each single transaction is really worth and if you're really curious for the answer if we look over here we can see that at the time of this thread which was in February one QNT was about $104, and with this wallet holding over 39,000 QNT, that's $4.116 million. And as we said, the price of quant has dropped a little from there, so, you know, we'll be conservative and cut the price in half from 104, so 52. That still equals to a $2 million wallet. So again, I'll let you decide whether this is retail activity or not. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. So the other day I dropped this thread just basically talking about the recent news of Gilbert coming back in the telegram and talking about potential staking coming. And on top of that, I decided to look back on chain a little bit to see what was happening with the Coinbase 10 and quant wallets as usual. And what we found here was pretty interesting. So if we take a look here, actually, let's look at it like this just so we can zoom in a little more and you guys can really see all that's happening. So we see pretty much all these transactions are happening at the exact same time, right? September 6th at 8.32 p.m. 11 seconds in to 8.32 UTC. And if we look here, literally every transaction is from that same time, right? 20.32.11 every one of these says 203211 but what do we notice about these transactions that's a little different from some of the other ones we've looked at as we can see this is actually the inverse happening now and these are from a lot of wallets right like these are all individual wallets sending qnt into coinbase 10 now the other thing is these are very very small amounts right what we just tracked earlier were absolutely massive amounts. They were at least four figures of QNT each. Now, these aren't even one figure. Just about every single one of these are 0.65 QNT. So in a sense, almost like a micropayment, right? So we can actually look at how much each transaction is worth. And we can see that they're all around 44 to $46, which is quite strange. It's you know a very small amount and obviously these could be marked up as retail amounts at these at this point i'm sure there's many many of us that are probably holding more than 45 dollars worth of quant right and so it almost doesn't make sense to send that little qnt into coinbase right if you're gonna have to pay the gas fee for it so this is really strange and the further we go the more we see this actually so these happened at 20.32, 11 seconds in, right? If we scroll down here, we're seeing the exact same thing. This, once again, just happened a couple days ago, September 6th. So, same as this one. Except these happened about, well, actually, exactly 20 minutes after. And as we can see, it follows the exact same pattern. Only this time, it's actually less than QNT. As we can see here, the average transaction amount is probably somewhere around 0.52 QNT. And so now it's about $37 or so per transaction. So very interesting to say the least. We look over here, again, same thing. 
And so this screenshot was actually of the Block Explorer before this one. So I kind of did this backwards, but anyways, the order doesn't matter too much here. As we can see, exact same activity, right? All of these wallets are sending to Coinbase 10 at literally the same time down to the same millisecond. What we'd seen before was Coinbase 10 sending out from Coinbase into various wallets, right? And those also followed the scheme of all being at the exact same time. But in those previous instances, that was a lot more feasible given that, you know, Coinbase being an exchange, one of the biggest crypto exchanges at that, is able to send large batch transactions. So they would batch large QNT transactions into one. As we can see here, it's not just QNT, but there's a lot of other tokens. Though, if we just look by dollar amount, we can obviously see the amounts of QNT are much more eye-opening than the others. But to see this in reverse, where every individual wallet is sending to Coinbase 10, that's just wild, right? Like, just imagine the amount of coordination you would need across all of these wallets to do that. I mean, you can't be even one millisecond off with this. And once again, we can see the QNT amounts here are around $37 on average just like what we tracked over here. Now going up to this screenshot, we see the same thing. Only this time it was one minute after 8.52.11, which as we saw was over here. And once again, the amounts are essentially the same, though interestingly enough, they are actually a little less. So if we look here on average, these are 0 0.5, right? If we look here, these are 0 0.53. These were also on average 0 0.53. And then here was 0 0.64. So the discrepancy is definitely something noteworthy. All right, but that was just looking at screenshots. Let's actually look into the blockchain now. So here we are on Etherscan. And so I've filtered the dates here from September 6th to September 7th as all the stuff we were tracking happened on September 6th. So currently we are on page 91 of 93 on September 6th or doing 25 transactions per row right now, just for those of you guys who want to follow along. And so we can see the transactions are actually relatively normal down here, right? So you can see they're actually spread across, you know, semi normal times, if you'd like to call it that, like it's nowhere near the precision that we saw before. But then we scroll up here and we see there are actually two transfers here that are we see two transfers here that do happen at the exact same time once again these are significantly more though as we can see they're three and two qnt each respectively which equal to well over 150 dollars let's just call it that but then we look up here at 404 pm and again 11 milliseconds in and what do we notice? Once again, it's the exact same thing. Oh, I can't highlight it like that. Once again, it's the exact same thing. See, September 6th, 4.04 p.m., 11 milliseconds in. September 6th, 4.04 p.m., 11 milliseconds in. And that repeats for a couple transactions. Remember, the ones we tracked before over here, these happened at, well, roughly 8.53 p.m., so almost 11... So almost nine o'clock. What we're seeing here is some of these actually started at 4.04 p.m. So let's head on over to the next page. And so now we are on page 90 of 93. And what do we see here? Well, every single transaction up until this point was done at the exact same time once again. In fact, no other QNT transactions on Coinbase 10 went through here. Every single one of these, as we can see, 4.04 p.m. on September 6th. And once again, it's a bunch of wallets, a bunch of different ones. See, none of these re repeat because if they do repeat, they all highlight just like this. None of these are repeating. These are all individual wallets that are sending QNT. And what we notice here is these amounts are actually quite a fair bit larger. <clears throat> and these do tend to vary a little more. As we can see, we have fives, tens, nines, but then we have one that's 116 quant. 
So very interesting to see there is more discrepancy happening here. Though I would say for the most part these are relatively within the single digits. Now let's continue looking because if we keep looking here we can see that it can it continues all the way throughout 4.05 p.m. now. So let's go to page 89. Once again, exact same thing. And so it's carrying on over what's happening at 4.05 p.m. on that date. And as we can see, there were a lot of QNT being sent during that time. So let's just continue looking at a couple more pages real quick. Once again, same thing. And... In case you didn't notice, it's still 4.05 p.m. on the Block Explorer here. And just about every single transaction now is within the three-digit dollar range mark. So let's skip forward again. Once again, same thing. It's still 4.05 p.m. So you're really getting a sense of how much QNT was coming into Coinbase at this time now, right? Granted, these are, you know relatively small transactions in standalone but when you bunch them up i mean this is quite a significant amount of qnt right and so here we can see it actually seems like it took a tiny little pause as at 606 p.m now so one minute has officially elapsed coinbase actually sent two transactions so let's continue on forward let's take a note here so Currently, up here, it is 6.08 p.m. Let's see what happens. Well, take a look here. So, at 6.08 p.m., we see a couple more transactions that went through. So, there were a total of three. And once again, they happened at the exact same time. And then at 4.09, it looks like it took a little brief break. As we can see, the next transaction that happens is at 4.10. What we notice here is, once again, the same as before. Every single one of these transactions is happening at 4.10 p.m. All from unique wallets, all going into Coinbase 10. And this time, just about all of them are sending roughly 2.5 QNT minus these, which are, I guess, 5 and very close to 6. So, again, very interesting to see the consistency in QNT amounts this time. And it does lead me to wonder what this could really be used for. But we'll touch on that later on. So we skip forward once again. Now it's 4.11, as we can see. So there were a couple more remainder of 4.10s that happened here. And then at 4.11, we can see all this activity. And same stuff as usual. Mounts look like they're going down a little bit. As around here, we're seeing 2.1 QNT on average now. Now let's go to the next page. So these are all 411s once again. So we will skip this. And once again, we're seeing there were a lot of QNT that came in at 411 because I think we've been through about three pages now where every single transaction had happened at 411, 11 milliseconds in. Once again, same thing. 411 transactions so you really have to wonder what's happening at each of these specific given times right and so here let's take a little scroll down we can see the last bits of the 411 over here as afterwards it was 414 but with 414 we once again saw the same thing but this time as we can see it's far less transactions as there were a total of one two three four five six 414s and then it just goes straight to 416 so very interesting to see there's also discrepancy in not just the amounts but the times they're sending at too so at 416 just right off the bat we can see there seems to be quite a bit so let's head on over to the next page and see if it continues so we can see there's a fair amount more 4.16s, but nowhere near the volume we saw at 4.11. As once we look here, it's transitioned to 4.17 already. And take a notice of how the amounts have continued to stay consistent around 2 QNT now. So let's see if that trend continues. As we can see, same stuff. It's 4.17 now. And it 
looks like once again there was some heavy inflows into coinbase at 417 as this whole page is 417 and the consistency of 2qnt we can see is still around all right so let's do a couple more pages so again these are all at 417 as well so we found the end of the 417s right here and then here is just a I guess normal transaction if you want to call it that as we can see these are listed as direct swaps you can see the direct address as it says method these are actually transfers and so I believe this means these are internal transfers within coinbase that's going from one coinbase wallet to another in other words these are most likely already coinbase wallets so basically what we're seeing is movement of qnt within different coinbase wallets going into coinbase 10 and it's important to keep in mind that coinbase arguably is the only quote-unquote regulated centralized exchange out there at the moment at least on a large scale but anyways we can see that another batch of uh, QNT was being sent this time the amount looks to be even smaller as we see it's now you know around 1.8 and so these transfers happening at 421 there's a decent amount so let's go here we'll probably stop at page 75 so we're at 77 right now so once again the 421s ended and then the 422 started and interestingly enough here we can see another little gap in time as we see 422 officially pass there was nothing that happened at 423 and then at 424 we're seeing the same large inflow activity again let's go to page 76 so some more at 424 and once again another little gap so this time between 425 and 426 there weren't any inflows of qnt but we can see at 427 that resumes once again and on top of that we can see the amounts have also dropped as the total average is now probably somewhere around 1.35 let's finally go to page 75 and take a look once again we're seeing the same activity still 427 and then at 428 there was another transfer see we can see this was a transfer so we could likely conclude that this one is also the result of all the wallets we've been tracking what's interesting here is that this is the only transaction that happened at 428 and it happened at the very last second of 428 and then at 429 we can see it begins to resume again right so enough of looking here on chain I'm sure that you guys can tell there is some very, very strange stuff going on here. And what's really important to keep in mind is that each of these are transfers. So they're not individual, you know, like MetaMask or Ledger wallets. But these are most likely already Coinbase wallets sending to Coinbase 10. And so I'm not sure how many wallets we just tracked there. I'm sure that was well beyond, I want to say, 300. We went through about 15 pages there with 25 transactions per page. And so that equals to roughly somewhere about 375 total wallets. And remember, these are all unique wallets. And odds are they're Coinbase accounts given that they're transfers. So there were about 375 individual Coinbase accounts holding small amounts of QNT, sending it to Coinbase 10. And don't forget, when we track these wallets, the average time was about 8.50 or so. so. So these are four hours after the initial transactions that we tracked. And based on the activity that we had seen from the Block Explorer, I think it's fair to say that this was happening rather continuously up until this point and maybe even later. So let's jump back to the Block Explorer real quick. I wanted to highlight one more thing here. So here I've filtered a little timeline of QNT transactions that happened from November 2023 up until today, which is September 10th. And what do we notice here on this bar chart? So basically each of these bars represent the amount of transactions that happened within that day from Coinbase 10. And we can see, you know, certain days are a little higher than others. On average, it seems like it's, you know, around the ranges of 200. But then we come over here 
and we just see a massive candle up. I mean, this is this overshadows everything that we've seen up until this point, right? So let's look at this candle. Uh, maybe I shouldn't call it a candle, but let's see if we can get our mouse there. There we go. So 2,229 transactions happened on September 6th which is, of course, the date that we've been tracking this whole time. And that's absolutely crazy, right? Because if we go here, which I think around this range is the previous high of transactions, we'd also track these ones. This was around Christmas, you know, about 500 on average, right? We saw 496 on Christmas, and then on Boxing Day, we saw 511. So let's just round that out to 500. This is more than four times the amount. That really goes to show you this level of activity that we just saw within the past few days is absolutely unprecedented within QNT. All right, so I lied. We're staying on the Block Explorer and we're looking at this specific wallet now. So this was a wallet that we had previously been tracking. It was made earlier this year in March 14th. What we notice is it follows that similar pattern we previously tracked of large inflows of QNT coming from Coinbase, right? What we're used to seeing, Coinbase 10 sending QNT to these wallets. And it seemed like it didn't do much with the QNT for a while as on April 13th, it was the last time it had gone QNT. And then suddenly on May 28th, 2024, it sent all the QNT into this wallet, all 9,100 that it had from here. So as we can see, there's literally nothing in this wallet anymore besides phishing scams. So let's click and see where this wallet leads to. Well, interestingly enough, it literally looks like this wallet was made purely for QNT purposes. As we can see here and from here, there was literally only one transaction that it ever sent and that was shortly after receiving the qnt from this wallet which was the one we were just on right 0x2fdcf so 0x2fdcf funds this wallet 0xc58d and then it just sends it all right back to coinbase 10 interesting right but this is just one case of the previous wallets we've been tracking. Let's quickly look at one more. And so to take it home, we're gonna look back to wallet 0x809. And this was one of the first wallets that I initially mentioned at the start of this video that we'd been tracking for some time. And as we can see, it has a pretty long history, right? You can see this is one of the wallets that started back in 2021, August 8th at 5 23 pm and we found a lot of these other ones that i've covered in my previous threads and while we can see it did take a little break in 2022 with far less transactions it came back to life right around christmas of 2023 as we can see from 2022 there were not so many transactions whereas starting right on christmas of 2023 we started seeing quite a heavy inflow of QNT from Coinbase coming into this wallet again, right? And so unlike the other one, what do we notice here? This wallet literally has not transferred anything. It's done absolutely nothing. And in fact, if we click here and go to token transfers, we can see it's only inflows. Whereas when we look at transactions, meaning transactions that this wallet signs, there are no matching entries. Why? Because it's never sent anything. And so if we look at tokens, we can see again, a large amount of phishing tokens. The only token it holds that's of value is of course QNT and it's holding over 40 million QNT. So that's nearly $3 million. And well, it got its last batch on May 1st, 2024, and it, you know, has not done anything since. So it'll definitely be essential to watch this wallet and other ones that are like this one moving forward. All right, so what's really the conclusion to all this? Because for the past 20 minutes or so, I've shown you guys some pretty interesting activity that we have not seen from Quant yet, right? And so does this equate to 
staking after all it comes at a pretty interesting time given that you know gilbert just popped back into the telegram recently and as we can see from these messages things definitely look like they're getting exciting especially this bottom half where he says but we've kept working on the ideas in the background so now after getting regulatory clarity and legal clarity we'll be introducing different forms of staking and rewards to encourage even more participation on overledger platform and ecosystem some of you noticed changes to the terms and conditions recently. Though what's interesting is that what we saw with Coinbase 10 sending to all those wallets is that they were really small amounts of QNT, right? For the most part, they were anywhere between the ranges of 0.65 to somewhere around 5 QNT. So, you know, it ranges between very little amounts of QNT, almost negligible amounts. Well, I guess I probably shouldn't say $50 is negligible, but you get what I'm saying. Very small amounts of QNT, which of course would kind of make you think towards staking, right? You get staking, you're paid out in very small micropayments, and that can occur over the course of a week, a day, or sometimes a month. But usually they pay you out in small sort of micropayments, right? And that's kind of similar to what we've seen with these wallets, but of course, that's just me speculating. So I know we're all excited and everything, but it's essential that we keep a level head and continue looking at this factually, right? The activity we're seeing now is definitely unprecedented and kind of flips the script on what we've been tracking for the past year or so. But at the same time, I think it leaves a lot to wonder as to what's to come down the line. And once again, with what Gilbert said, it really seems like things are lining up. But with that said, we've got a lot of exciting things bunching up together within the Quant ecosystem right now, and I'm just going to leave it at that. So once again, if you guys enjoyed this, definitely be sure to, you know, give it a quick share and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on what we might be seeing. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. So I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.